<laughs> we were like ready to turn it on. Like, we to were start so the ready. Show. I was ready to start talking, and then I was like, oh man. And then I'm like, wait a second, there's no mic in front I of my like, face. Where is my microphone? Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Wednesday. I heard it's going to be almost 70 degrees today. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to be kind of chilly in the morning, but it's kind of it's nice out. Uh, and then it's going to be about 70 degrees. Interesting. So, like, happy fall, everybody. Exactly. Like, why can't it just stick to one season, Mar? Because, like, I don't know what to wear ever. Exactly. I'm like, hmm, do I stick with jeans? Do I wear shorts? Well, I can't wear shorts because all my shorts are at home. Exactly. And also, I haven't shaved my legs in a real long time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> so, I'm your one, Amora. And I'm your other, Amarissa. And let's just get started. Sounds good, Mark? Uh, honestly, I love when you have great ideas. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for your support. I just feel like we also need to mention that we rearranged all of the lights. Yes, if you tuned in early, which none of you did, <laughs> um, we rearranged the lights in the studio so that um, we could look better. You know, usually when I sit here, um, it's like no one is even, it's like a ghost just talking into this microphone because I am so pale and the lights just BAM! Yeah, it's in um, this back area isn't lit at all. Um, so there's three lights that work in this whole booth. And we just had to kind of rearrange them. But now it's like a bright sunny day in here. Exactly. I think we look great. And I, now that Maura looks so great, I think it's time for her to tell us some things. All right, let's start with TV today. Okay. Even though that's what we usually do. It's not yeah. like we're mixing it up. Let's switch it up and start with, I don't know, TV. Or, no, let's switch it up and start with movies. Why okay, not? Yeah, okay, listen. I love when we go, like, spontaneous. <laughs> exactly. We love surprises. Yeah, we, we really do. don't. No, don't do it. Oh, our broadcast failed, Marissa. I mean, like, it comes back. No, it, like, actually failed. Oh, that's good. Here, you try and set that up. Okay. All right. So, while she does that, I'm going to speak. So, um, Mar. Yes. Did you see Batman vs. Superman? I did. And Ezra Miller was the Flash? Yes. Okay, so he has signed on to do a Just Flash movie. Okay. The sad thing is that we don't know if it's ever going to happen because it has lost multiple directors. And um, oh. it has lost another one. <laughs> okay, Um, is there like a reason why they're losing the director? Is it Ezra? Is it... I don't know. The other ones, like, I guess they signed on and it just didn't work out. Um, this one, he has signed on and he said he has left because of creative differences. I didn't know people actually said that. I thought it was just in movies. Um, but I guess there really are things such as creative differences. You could be different about creatively. Who knew? Who would have known? Um, but yeah, so we first saw The Flash in Batman vs. Superman. Mm -hmm. um, and... I don't know. I feel bad for poor Ezra. I love him. Like, why can't he just have a director to support him? Although, I'm going to be honest. I don't see him as the Flash. Marissa said, me either, just in case you can't hear her. Sorry. Um, I forgot I wasn't at my mic. <laughs> yeah, I don't see him as the Flash. There's like a picture of him in the outfit, and it looks like someone dressing up for Halloween. It looks like a costume, which exactly. I feel like it shouldn't. Um, I mean, I think also because there's that Flash TV show. Yeah, exactly. Like, why are you doing this now? I think they should have waited. I think it was a bit early. Yeah. Um, but maybe now they will wait? I don't know. Probably not, because right now we're, we're on a superhero kick. I know, but I feel like we're always on a superhero kick. Like, I feel like no matter what decade it is, superheroes will be famous. I feel I mean, that. I love superheroes my entire life. My brother Jeff has loved superheroes his entire life. And then, like, the comic books were coming out, like, so long ago. Before they even, like, made a lot of movies about them. Exactly. Like, I don't know. I just think too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I think it's more of a DC thing because DC is has never been able to compete with Marvel. Listen, I love DC. I just feel like Marvel produces better movies. Which unfortunately is true, but I feel like DC <laughs> has better content. Oh, absolutely. Like, I feel the Batman movies versus the Marvel movies, there's like no competition between the two. Absolutely, but I also feel like Batman versus Superman wasn't a good movie. Oh, so awful. Like, it made me want to vomit because I love DC so much. So it's like, the Batman movies have been great, but I don't know if that is solely because of who Batman was. Yeah. Or just the content that they had for it. 
I don't know. Just I feel like it was probably a combination good. because like now I could never imagine anyone else but Christian Bale as Batman. Which is good for him. Exactly. But like also <laughs> bad because he has said that he's not going to do any more Batman movies. Mm-hmm. And then when they do, when each time they have Batman in it, like with like Ben Affleck, like he's a totally different Batman. Exactly. And like we are still all fully aware of the old other Batman. Exactly. Because it was too soon. Yeah. It's all about timing. Everyone. Exactly. Just like take a breath. Take your time. That song from the last five years. So good. <laughs> okay. Um, but so Ezra, you know, here's the thing. He wants to do the flash, but he's going to be busy because he's in Fantastic Beasts. And moving on to our next topic, what a smooth transition. I'm so good at this. Honestly, I love um, it. Um, Fantastic Beasts 2, they're already, you know, talking. That's good. This one hasn't even been released yet. Exactly. Well, so it has been said by um, directors, by the studios, by J.K. Rowling, that this, um, like, series itself mm-hmm. will be five movies. Five. So this first one is based off of the book fantastic beast and where they came from it was like a little novella that jk rowling wrote the next four are just going to be original stories by okay. oh my gosh hi tyler love you ah. hello um but so it's just going to be like little stories that have not been published anywhere but will be explored will jk help with that yes she okay, is cool. on board for all of them okay i think it'd be interesting exactly um, but so for the second one, they haven't released anything except for the location. <laughs> so um, it will not be in the USA, mm-hmm. but it will not be in London either. What? It will be in Paris, France. Interesting. I feel like they just want to use like iconic locations where like when they're ch- running around chasing these um evil monster things destruction is horrific exactly and it's like things that you know it's like oh look there's eiffel tower cut in half by a demon like and you know that's the same with like new york city like oh look there's the empire state building oh someone just ate it like i I feel like that's like movies do that because it's easy for you to identify with exactly just be like in a remote area of brussels because like no one knows much about brussels yeah exactly you can't just be like hmm let's film in the middle of no unless it like goes with the movie and it's like set in the middle of nowhere if you want people to realize like you have to film it there you know what i realized actually Mm. so many movies are filmed in chicago and you would never even know yeah like when i went to visit my brother in chicago we'd be like walking around i was like that's in a movie that's in a movie that's in a movie i think just because it's a big city yeah. That isn't New York. Exactly. And so it's easier to film there because it isn't New York. Doesn't cost $9 million just oh. to reserve a street for 20 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Or just like to have your equipment on the sidewalk. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I definitely want to see Fantastic Beasts. Do you remember when that's coming out? It's in November, right? November 18th. It comes out it's so soon. So soon. I'm so ready for that. Oh, I'll be on Kairos. Or wait, is it November 8th? Wow. I think it, that's even sooner. I know. Let me look this up for you guys right now because that's like something you need to know. But here's my thing. I'm excited to see Fantastic Beasts. Yes. I'm just worried because like I don't want it to compete with um, the Harry Potter movies. Exactly. I don't think it's going. I think people are going to compare it because but that makes me sad because all they alike. do. Yeah, I know because if it's like one, if it re- relates to it, this is nothing like the Harry Potter series. Well, it's in America, so like that in itself is nothing like the Harry Potter series. No, it does come out um, November eighteenth. Eighteenth. Okay, yeah. I'll have to see it after that then. Um, but like this, this shouldn't be compared because it's not comparable. Yeah, this is a book that they could read in their class. Exactly. From the nineteen twenties. This is not something. Yeah that like should relate so i don't think it should be connected in any way because it isn't (laughs) i feel that all right before we go to break we're going to talk about one more quick thing yes tell me um do you love james mcavoy as much as i love james mcavoy absolutely probably not because i love him a lot probably but he is going to be in a new movie coming out um it comes out january 20th Mm -hmm. um but it's like a thriller creepy movie Oh, I think I've seen the trailer for this. It's called Split. Uh-huh. And so it's about um, this guy with multiple personalities. And so the guy played by um, my bae, James McAvoy, 
has in his like self, he's 23 different people. There's like just the regular him. His name is like Kevin. There's a um, like British woman. There's a young boy with um, a mental disability. And there's like all these different things. But so he kidnaps these three girls and like all his different personalities are doing different things to them. So like, you know, in the trailer, you see like the old lady version of him is like, oh, he's not allowed to touch you. And then the little boy comes in of him and he's like, oh, like you're in trouble, so on and so forth. So it looks weird. Yeah. And I like, here's my thing. How does James McAvoy portray that so well? James McAvoy... Is it just because he's so freaking fabulous? I want to say yes. And I also feel like it was probably very hard for him to film that because how do you get into character Yeah, for 23 different exactly. people? Exactly. It's like, all right, today. Maybe they did it like um, every day he would be like a different person. A different person. Exactly. And like try and get all that stuff instead of him having to go like back and forth. That makes sense. That would make the most sense. But still hard because you also don't want to like make fun of people with exactly. multiple personality disorders. Yeah. Well, so I personally hate horror movies, so I will not see it in the theaters. But when it comes out on DVD, you can bet I'll be watching it with a blanket over my face. <laughs> and you can tell me about it. <laughs> I shall. All right. We're going to take a break. And when we get back, we um, have some more movie news. I love when you have movie news. Thank you so much. Slap you smashed a plate over my head, then I set fire to our bed. 